This is Marty Howe with the Web Conferencing Store, reviewing ON24. ON24 fits a specific niche in our web conferencing products in that it is primarily designed for webcasting events. Webcasting is typically one way with limited viewer interaction, but its biggest advantage is that it can reach thousands of people. The difference between web conferencing and webcasting is compared at our website, webconferencingstore.com, where we've provided a chart comparing the differences. The audience size of web conferencing is up to 125 or 150. For webcasting, it's up to thousands. The purpose of web conferencing is collaborative meetings, where webcasting, the purpose is events or webinars. The audio used with web conferencing is phone, two-way audio, teleconferencing. With webcasting, it's streaming audio, so you're hearing the audio on the speakers of your computer. With web conferencing, there may be some plugins that are required to download. There's no download necessary with webcasting. The interactive features of web conferencing is extensive, but with webcasting, it's limited, although some products such as ON24 do have some interactive features such as Q&A polls and surveys. With web conferencing, the participants, especially the presenters, use webcams. And with webcasting, broadcast quality video is produced. The scheduling with web conferencing is either ad hoc on the fly or scheduled. With webcasting, it's scheduled. The cost model for webcasting is per event fee. Webcasting is based on streaming. Streaming refers to the delivery method of the medium rather than the medium itself. Streaming audio and video is content sent in a continuous stream of data over the internet and is played as it arrives, unlike audio and video files that are played after the entire file has been downloaded. In this example, we can have audio streaming synchronized with slides with PowerPoint, or we could have video streaming with audio streaming synchronized with slides. An ON24 webcast event can be produced live, recorded, and made available for on-demand viewing. A pay-per-view option is also available. The ON24 interface can be customized and branded with your company's logo and colors. In this example, the video window is on the right where you can have streaming video, we can have a window for the presenter's name and information, a window for slides, for Q&A, for attendees. There's also an integration of social media such as Twitter here, which some are finding very useful. In this example, we see the streaming video and the streaming audio of the presenter on the left, and on the right are the slides or the PowerPoint presentation that is synchronized with this presentation. And we'll be showing you an interface that the presenter uses on the back end to control that synchronization. What you're seeing here is the participants interface. And participants have the option to ask a question and submit it, to enlarge slides, to ask for help, or download the presentation. Also, customized buttons can be created to download any collateral material, such as Word docs, PDFs, etc. Some of the advantages of streaming is minimal attendee interaction, no attendee downloads or plugins, high scalability can reach thousands, attendee registration and reporting for collecting leads, integrated with Salesforce.com, pay per view options, reliable and global using the largest infrastructure in the market, completely redundant three times networks, and interfacing in any language in Europe, US, or Asia Pacific, and also full service webcast management, which we'll speak about in just a few moments. Some of the top webcasting applications are sales and marketing, product demos and launches, training and marketing webinars, company-wide communications, external or internal, using your company's own internal internet networks. ON24 can adapt to all streaming requirements. Educational programs, even certification, investor relations, and trade shows. To help you manage your event, ON24 will provide you with a webcast event manager. You'll first start off with a scheduled 
one hour kickoff training call where you'll discuss your planning, details, branding, etc., and all your media and delivery options. You'll also discuss the pre-event generation strategies such as using salesforce.com and post-event reporting such as making available on-demand viewing and pay-per-view options. For the live event, you'll discuss managing multiple presenters that can be in remote locations and their role in presenting different media and their preparation for the presentation. ON24 does offer training checklists for this. So here we're looking at the back end where the administrator logs in before launching the presenter interface. And from here we can schedule our events. When we reserve an event, we are given the options to select our media and delivery options. Once we have selected our media and delivery options, we're then given links to present and manage our webcast. So first we have here the audience URL that we send to all potential participants. We have the upload URL to upload all the materials of our presentation such as PDFs and PowerPoint and video. We have the presenter URL that we're going to look at right now and we also have a preview URL and a report URL. So what we're seeing here is the presenter's interface that he logs in on the back end and it's from here that the presenter can control what the participants are seeing, what content is being viewed on their web link, whether it's a PowerPoint slide or whether it's polls or web URLs. So what we're going to do is briefly go over some of the menu items here and some of the tabs. The first thing we're going to look at is the login mode. When you have your first meeting with your webcast manager, one of the first things you do is assign who will be the administrator, the moderator, the speakers, and also the Q&A screener. And each have their own level of privileges. The Q&A screener has a very specific job, and that is of screening all the questions that come in from the participants. This is one of the interactive features of ON24. And given that there could be thousands of people attending the presentation, it's really important that you have someone assigned to screening out the questions and assigning them to different speakers and given their priority, etc. So when the different speakers come on, they will have a list of questions that they can answer in context of their presentation, or they can answer that specific question privately through chat with that specific individual. Another interactive feature of ON24 is chat, and chat can be between the different administrator, moderator, speakers, and Q&A monitor. And also, if any of the participants ask a question, the moderators can answer that specific question privately. But there is no chat function between participants. So let's quickly go over some of these other menu items under My Preferences. We can set the preferences of the user interface here. We have our webcast actions such as Start and Stop Practice and Start and Stop Live. And that we also have those options here on the, on the right. And this is, of course, very useful because we can have a preview of what the participant's interface is going to look like. So let's look at some of the other options here. We have our slides, and so at the back end, we can choose any slide we want on the left like that. And then as the presenter is giving the presentation, when it's time to push to the audience, just click here and you can see it coming up on the right. And then that's what's seen on the participant's interface. We also can control our polls from this tab. So we have a poll here and then we can push the poll to the audience. And then the audience has this in their viewing area. They make a decision here on the poll and then we can see the poll results as they happen. We also can do the same with URLs. We can prepare ahead of time or on the fly we can create a new URL if we want and then we can push them to the audience and the web page will pop up in the participants browser. We have the attendees tab where we can review who's in the meeting and of course we could have thousands of um, participants here. 
and we have the event log that will tell us what's happening or what has happened during the meeting. This concludes our review of ON24 webcasting. Check out the web conferencing store at www.webconferencingstore.com to review other webcasting and web conferencing products.